Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing a Halloween look and as you can see, it's a sugar skull. Um, I'm going to just do the makeup side of it and leave the kind of accessories like the lashes and the jewels out and then you can see them and the um, photos at the end. Um, this look has um, quite intricate bits to it so feel free to fast forward those bits if I'm taking too long because as you know I don't edit any of my videos. Okay, so first of all what we're going to start off with is the white base. So for most of my um, Halloween makeups I use White um, Rich Liquid by Elamasca. It's a really heavy thick white foundation and I'm just popping that on with my um, Urban Decay uh, Optical Blurring Brush. Please excuse the mess of my hands because I have been doing the rest of the sculpt. So we're just buffing in that white. And this brush really evenly applies the white foundation and makes it not look too thick or clowny like face paint. You can really buff it out. It works perfect with it because it's quite a, a chalky foundation. I wouldn't really recommend it for anything else other than doing um, quite theatrical things. As a foundation itself, it is very, very heavy. Unless you really like heavy, heavy foundation. Right over the eyelid. And you can see it doesn't take a great deal of effort to really buff it in. It really spreads quite evenly because it does have quite a powdery finish. Okay, so that's us get the white base on. Now, first of all, I'm going to start off with the eye. So I'm using my Charles Fox brush. It's quite a, a large one I'm using. And what I've used for most of the black in this is Kryolan, um Black Aqua Colour or Face Paint to me and you. Um, and I'm just, you make like a nice paste with it. Don't make it too watery. To get that black nice and intense, it's more like a paste you want to create. So don't add too much water to it. And to get that um, really round shape with the eye, let the brush do most of the work. Um, so do the top half first and we're going to blank the eyebrow completely out. So it's just really letting the bristles of that brush do most of the work and cut out that nice round smooth shape for me. And as I said guys at any point Feel free to fast forward if this is taking too long. I'm not the fastest of workers. I don't really think you should brush anything if you want it to look good. I'm cutting that right down. about even just remember to get all the kind of white powdery foundation off your eyelashes as well because it does show up in photos so you can see I never really re-dipped my brush into water at all without doing that. So to get that black nice and intense, like I said, try not to add too much water. One dip should really do you for that full eye. Okay. 
okay so now what we want to do is create the kind of little flower petals around the eye so what we need to do first is get the blue for the inside of that and that blue is an inglot color that i'm using you can see that's quite a shimmered blue um i don't know what it's called so shine 33 that's the back of it i don't know what the names are okay and you'll get that in the inglot standalone store or online Right, so I'm taking my round pencil blender brush from Urban Decay, it's my 24 hour blending brush. Um, and because it's quite a round tipped brush, what I'm just going to do is pat wee circles round and then I know where I'm marking out to be painted round as well. And if you can see, I'm almost, I'm getting them on the, the black circle a wee bit as well because we're going to go back round and take that away. It's just wee dots. So this is probably the part of the makeup, creating these wee flower petals that probably will take me the longest. So once you get the gist of it, just feel free to fast forward. I'm always quite apprehensive about doing these bigger makeups on um, film for the simple reason that I do take so long to do them. And as you know, I'm not a computer whiz that can edit videos or make fancy videos that are all very raw. Now, as you can see, I've got Swarovski's all on the other um, eye. I'm not going to put these on in the video because that is really, really time-consuming and uh, boring. But it is just eyelash glue that I've stuck them on with. Um, and I've just done it on every second. Uh, I'm skipping two petals, every third petal that's on the eye, if you can see that. And that's they're 100% real Swarovski. Um, and they can be reused and reused. So once we've got the, the blue imprints on, we need to just go back round with a wee bit of the black aqua colour and just take away any of that eyeshadow. So you're just cutting the rim again on your your um, eye socket. Just take any of that blue eyeshadow away. So now I'm taking my um, Real Techniques um, brush, this is my fine liner brush and that's how I'm creating the wee flower petals. So again, don't need too much product and don't need too much water for this. It should literally just be on the edge of the, the aqua colour. And then I would even scrape some of the excess off the brush because it's quite a delicate bit this. So just where you've put those um, eyeshadow markings, I just want to create wee petals now. Let's move this over a bit. Some of them are going to be bigger than others. Don't panic about the size or how thick they are as long as you get them right round it doesn't really matter don't worry if you can write over the eyeshadow as well as long as it looks sort of even And this is quite an easy makeup to do, to be honest with you. Even the most kind of novice um, makeup artist could really kind of do a sugar skull. That's why I wanted to make it a kind of tutorial one. It was something that everybody could do. And 
and you can really change up the designs on this. I've just done a couple of swirls, um, but there's a lot, if you Google search um, sugar skulls, there's a lot more kind of traditional Mexican designs. Um, that have like love hearts and the spider webs. I think what we'll do is do the um, the spider web on the head today. And just be aware that when you're coming down the bridge of the nose, obviously the wee petals will be smaller and more delicate. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, obviously on the nose, I've done like a kind of ace of spades sign. So, um, you could either bring it up and do it like a proper skeleton nose like I've done on my other skeleton um, tutorial or pictures. Um, but I, I quite like the fact that this was more like the Ace of Spades, so it was kind of more sugar scully rather than normal skull. So I think now what we'll do is we will do the um, shading before we do the lips. So for the pink shading, I've basically just done that shading where I would put my bronzer. So kind of right round the, the head and the temple and coming down onto the, the cheekbone. You could even take a bit on the jawline if you want. Um, what I've used for that is Sugar Pills Loose Pigment and the colour was Birthday Girl. Okay. And that's um, a nice kind of loose pink shimmered pigment. And the brush I've used to apply that is another Real Techniques one and this is a contour brush. Just using this out the lid. So I'm just going right round the forehead with it. And be aware that because you've not set that white Alamasca rich liquid with anything, that anything you put on it is going to initially stick to it. So you really need to make sure you're buffing and blending all that kind of pigment in well, or you're just going to get a big sticky mess. And just marking out the cheek. So right up and round. Right round the hairline really. Okay, so I think we'll leave that there with the pink. Um, after that, what I've done is I've just kind of blended that pink all in with some MAC pigment, and this one is pink opal. Just so the pink was nice and blended. And the pink opal's got a beautiful iridescence to it that just gives a nice shine. make sure that pink's quite strong on the same kind of strength on both sides. I'm just going to make that a wee bit stronger. I think the way the light's hitting it on the camera as well, you can't really see how strong it is. Okay, so next I think what we should do is attempt the cobweb on the head. So again, I'm just using my fine liner brush and again, not a lot of product, not a lot of water with this.
Now you will need quite a steady hand to attempt this free hand. So what I'm going to say for the spider web is start in the middle. Start in the middle. And we're just going thick up into um, a wee bit thinner. So start a wee bit thicker and then just release your grip on the brush so you get a kind of finer line. And then we're just going to spread out from there. And it's all just lines made up. And again, it doesn't need to be a spider web. There are like ones with love hearts and things as well. I quite fancied attempts in the spider web. Don't worry about making them perfect because you can go back and edit them. That's what I always do. I mark it out first and then I try and do a wee bit of shading and stuff. Especially with things that have got fine detail in them. So now I'm just going to wisp all that inside bit and give it a wee bit of shading. Okay, so you get your first initial lines in and then you can start to web them, just like so. I'm not picking up a great deal of product at all because I think the heavier you make this the more likely it is you'll make a mistake so if you have it nice and faint you can then go back over and retouch it up with things that if you feel it needs more um, depth in it So you've got that initial web on, now what I'm going to do is just go back and kind of pick out a few wee bits, make the, the bottom of the web a wee bit darker. It's quite difficult because I can't lean on my face to do it. Usually what I would do is use my face as a rest, but obviously I don't want to smudge what I've already done. So I'm having to do it all really freehand. And you're doing it on yourself though. You wouldn't have done it one side onto the other. So you'll know, start with the eyes and then go back and do all the kind of face techniques. So do the forehead after the eyes.
Okay, so I'm going to just leave that like that. So I've filled in the bottom of it, gave it a bit, bit of shading, and then we've done the web. So I've leaned quite light there. Um, don't pick up a lot of water or a lot of the product with the web, and, and it should come out quite faint and nice. Um, now what we're going to do is the lips. So for the lips, what I'm going to do is use my Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. And again, I'm just dipping that in the water and still using the Kryolan Aqua Colour in Black. Um, I'm just filling my lip in like I would with a lipstick. Okay, so now we can attempt the teeth. So for the teeth, I've not really made them look exactly like teeth or how teeth should anatomically be um, represented on a skull. What I'm kind of doing is just giving a nice kind of scar mouth. So I'm taking the aqua colour again and just, again, bare amount of product and just cutting out from where my lips meet. And again, do it quite faint at first so you can really judge it and then you can go back and tailor it. So thicker, getting into thin again, so just releasing the grip of that brush. And then I'm just going to make the markings of the teeth. Okay, and then what I've done is I've actually taken it and curled it up with the brush. So again, I'm not even adding any more product. I wouldn't even worry about trying to get them both the same either. So from there, what I've done is then I've taken a nice swirl on the jaw. And also done the little um, lotus flower on the chin. So again, th this was all done with the aqua colour, but I've used the Inglo eyeshadow and the sugar pill eyeshadow again to um, colour in the lotus flower, and then used an iridescent Swarovski on the the, um, the stem of the flower. So just a wee bit more product, and we'll attempt this jaw. Now try and judge it from where you've put the um, the mouth lines on each other. So that's just coming out slightly further, and then. Curling round, and again you can keep coming back and fixing these and editing them. So the next one's coming down from the cheek, so just where our contouring was. Then another wee swirl coming out from that. So it's really faint markings I've done. And then I'm going to go back and fill them all in. 
it's not even a case of filling them in, it just going over them and giving them that kind of double layer, double line, gives them more kind of detail without actually being really intricate and having a lot of skill involved. Okay, so that's our sugar skull guys. Obviously as I've said um, from the pictures you'll be able to tell where I've put the Swarovskis and the lashes that I'm actually using today of course as always are my Eldora lashes and the number for them is D149 and they've just already got that kind of hot pink glitter band on them. Beautiful lashes, easy to apply and always come with the glue. Um, and it's just the Eldora glue that I've used to stick on all the wee Swarovskis. Hope you've enjoyed the Sugar Skull guys. Obviously have a wee look at the pictures for full detailing and all products used. Thanks, bye.